Gabriel Thalimide synthesis can be used for preparation of alpha amino acid This molecule is thylic acid and when this is treated with ammonia and the mixture is heated we get thylamide so this is thylamide in thylamide hydrogen is very acidic in nature and this is because of resonance so corresponding conjugate base is resonance are stabilized so we have two sided resonance So this is resonance stabilized. So this means when thalamide is treated with base, let us say KOH, this forms. potassium salt of thalamide now following sequence can be used for preparation of alpha amino acid first step is reaction with bromomalonic ester so this molecule is bromomalonic ester so in the first step bromomalonic ester is treated with potassium salt of thalamide so this is potassium salt of thalamide now this time we will have sn2 reaction this will act as a nucleophile and this is general alkyl halide so we will have nucleophilic substitution so we are as a good leaving group so we will have this product this is a imide malonate now in the next step imide malonate is treated with base so next step is treatment with base 
and this time C2H5O minus is taken as base that is ethoxide ion. So, we have imide malonate and this is treated with base. Now, this hydrogen is very acidic in nature. So, this base can abstract a proton from here. So, this proton gets abstracted. So, we can show the abstraction of proton. So, this base can take this proton and we will generate enolate ion. So, this is enolate ion and this enolate ion is resonance stabilized. You can see the resonance stabilization. So, this lone pair can go this side or this lone pair can also go this side. So, in that case we will have another resonating structure. So, we have three resonating a structure. So, enolate ion is resonance a stabilized. Now, next step we have reaction with alkyl halide. So, we have enolate ion and we have alkyl halide. So, we will have substitution reaction. This will act as nucleophile and it will attack on alkyl halide. So, we will have this product. The final step is 
hydrolysis and this time this is acid hydrolysis so medium is acidic and decarboxylation so if this product is hydrolyzed and decarboxylated finally we will have alpha amino acid so if we do hydrolysis in acidic medium this bond breaks this bond breaks and this bonds break this bond breaks so we can write product in this case from here we will get thylic acid and from here we will have ethyl alcohol C2H5OH and from here also we will have C2H5OH and this molecule we will have a dibasic acid. and we will also have nitrogen so this nitrogen is coming to this carbon so this is a amine now this can be decarboxylated if i heat this one co2 group can be released this is because this is beta keto acid and beta keto acid easily decarboxylated So this is alpha amino acid. So in alpha carbon we have a amino group. So this is alpha amino acid. This decarboxylation happens easily because we know beta keto acid easily decarboxylate. So this is a beta keto acid on beta position we have a keto group and this nitrogen will come with this carbon so we will have a amino acid so this contains acid and this also contains amino group at alpha position so this is a alpha amino acid so this is a method of preparation of alpha amino acid.